Today is Wednesday, May 26th. The time is about 8.30 a.m. So I just put some tape on the imperfections in the tile that for 15,000, you know, it's gonna be some kind of offset for these. Even if it's small or I have to live with it, at least I know that I got a credit for that. Okay, so that's there. There. And there, those are the blue tapes. As far as the neat wall is concerned, This is like in the, whatever this is, stone or, okay. With inside the niche. Okay. Grout stuck. Some spillage of some product that needs to be cleaned off. It's not something I can clean with cleaner. On the other side, you have the stone shelves. That's the underside of the top one. And the underside of the bottom one. Going over to the knee wall. If you look here, if you go across, you see the grout. And then it starts to get smaller and then here so i'll do it from this way okay so that's the edge and it gets wider and i'll take a step back it's hard to see from this angle but you can see from Left to right, it starts to get smaller. So it's not a straight line. Here. On the niche wall, there's a space in here. So See that? Also, there's some grout. Also, I just had a question about the overall sealing of the grout. Because if this is not sealed, then all of this will turn dirty. Same thing with the shower. I noticed the water when it was on it, it was really dark. Of course it got wet, but I just wanted to understand that or confirm that this grout has been sealed. This is feeling pretty coarse and usually sealed We'll have some kind of, we'll feel this coarse and I shouldn't have anything rubbing off on my fingers if I run my finger across it. Okay. 
All right. I'm taking these videos. This is just a video diary. All right, so just letting you know that as of today, this is the bathroom still. I'm coming up on the holiday weekend. That means if it doesn't get done this week, then I'm probably looking at next Tuesday for something to happen in here. Okay, baseboard supposed to be removed. I noticed this on the wall yesterday, right above the baseboard. This is the corner by the shower. Right around the area where they were doing the curb and putting that in. Gotta be cleaned up, clean it up a little bit. All right, so that's the bathroom for now. Oh, the vet is still not here yet. All right, all it took was, I thought, just sanding and painting until it's not here. That's the wall. No doorknob. The door stop is missing off the door. Also, they took it off, I guess, to paint the door, but they didn't paint the door. Maybe they forgot. Outside of the bathroom, let me turn the light on. All right, so I just marked the areas with paint, but you know, we've already discussed that they have to do the touch up on the paint, but the paint on the floor is where the blue marks are, the blue tape is. All right, coming into the living room area. The blue tape just shows the areas on the floor where there's where I've seen paint. I know there's paint behind these planks here, but I gotta get these planks off the floor because they were dusty and the air quality was starting to, you know, affect my throat and I was starting to itch you know, irritate my skin. So I had to put that stuff up on the wall and sweep. This was the, air, this is the baseboard that's left. All right, but they finished the baseboard, but this is all the stuff here. There's still dust here. So I'll sweep that today. The paint, the marks on the floor, the tape on the floors where paint or some other kind of material. I noticed this with the... So. Okay, tape. Baseboard stuff. Okay, this outlet was actually not in properly, if you see from above. So that concerns me as far as plugging in and th things in and out of there. I wouldn't want to get hurt if something is not properly installed. Okay, air conditioner. Underneath the air conditioner. Still needs painting work there. They found the cord to the AC. I guess it was stuck underneath, but there's still no outlet cover. So if they can't locate the cover, they took all their equipment out of here. So the covers must be missing or they need to go buy some. I need to know. 
here, outlet cover. This is uh, opening in the wall here. All right, so they just put outlet cover on that instead of fixing the wall or at least notifying the contractor that that needed to be fixed. There's some paint there. As I said, I know it's more paint behind these boards, but it's just needless to say, there's just paint. You know, I had mentioned about my appliances had not been covered when they were doing a lot of the work in here. So this is a stove that I'm, I wiped it off once and I came back and it was still uncovered. I put these drop cloths on it myself. This is me with the shrink wrap, trying to send the message to watch it, but this is gonna take a lot of cleaning. So, I cleaned off the microwave and the refrigerator, but that's just an example of, and that's actually cleaned off a little bit. All right. Okay, so. So this is what's left here, material. Okay, I haven't heard from the building yet about the their work. I sent the email yesterday, May 25th. I'm waiting to see when they think they may be able to schedule it, but people have holiday on their mind, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is the current state of the kitchen. They have bars up. One, two placeholders for lights. Okay. Like I said, this material flooring that I brought in. This is the vent. Still here, nothing. Um, bedroom is, you know, not much here to talk about because it was, they just need to come in here and just make sure the baseboards are okay. There's material on this baseboard here, and there. So I'll put blue tape on that today and so my next diary will have it. Oh, windows. I bought new windows, okay? I bought new glass anyway, but Paint, some paint, clean it up. On the glass, it's hard to see, but there's some stuff there. I'm sure it's easy to come off. But. Okay. I think that's it for today. I'll make my next video uh, by, by Friday because Friday I'm sure nobody will be in here. Well, I don't know, we'll see.